Hi, I'm Mike Rankin, Editor-in-Chief of InDesign Secrets, and in this video, I'll show you how to save page elements as snippets so you can easily share them. Here in my newsletter file, I have this pull quote, and it's formatted with a paragraph style, a character style, and an object style, and it also uses two different color swatches. And let's say that I needed to share this specific page element with a colleague so that they could add pull quotes that look just like this to their documents. There are several ways to do that. Of course, I could just share this entire file, or I could save this text frame in a Creative Cloud library or a traditional InDesign library and then share those libraries with my colleague. But there are reasons why each of those options might be problematic in some cases. One really simple way to share page elements with anyone using InDesign CS4 or later is to export the elements as an InDesign snippet. When you do this, InDesign creates a file that uses code called IDML, or InDesign Markup Language, to describe the page elements. The file's just made up of text, so you could even open it and read the code if you were curious. But more importantly, because it's just a simple text file, a snippet is very small in terms of file size so it's easy to send to someone as an attachment to an email. To create a snippet of my pull quote text frame, I'll make sure I have it selected with the selection tool, and choose File, Export. I'll export it to the desktop and call it Pull Quote, and I'll choose Format, InDesign Snippet. I'll click Save and switch to the Finder. I can see that it's just 51 kilobytes in terms of file size. But in that 51K is everything InDesign needs to recreate the pull quote in another document, including all the styles and swatches. I'll switch back to InDesign and go to my other document and choose File, Place. I'll select my snippet, click Open, and notice I get a preview of it at my cursor. At this point, I can just click to place it where my cursor is, or if I undo, I can hold the Option key on Mac or Alt on Windows to place the snippet at the same location on the page that it was exported from. Notice how the cursor changes when I hold Option or Alt. And I'll click to place the new pull quote at the same location as the original. Just be aware that the position recorded in a snippet is based on the spread. So if you export from a document that uses facing pages and then import it into a document that doesn't use facing pages, it'll appear in a different horizontal location. And I can see that the styles and swatches used in the pull quote were added to my panels. And of course, the text is editable, so I can enter in a new quote. So that's a look at how to share page elements with InDesign snippets. Thanks for watching this video. And if you want lots more tips like this, be sure to check out InDesignSecrets.com and subscribe to InDesign Magazine.